I'm surprised. I mean, I know I had it. The aim this year was to go sub 38. I know I haven't been running an, enough 300 metres, but you know, it was here today because I won it last year. So I wasn't going for the medal. I was going for the time. So I'm really happy to, um, to have achieved it at the end of the season. The top time is incredibly fast. I don't know how many people are going to be touching that over the next couple of years. But I'm happy to, I think I was the 13th or 14th before, so I've gone right up to fourth. So. No, I'm really ecstatic, thank you. I love I love the school games. You know, I wasn't gonna I was gonna cut my season after nationals, which was last week. But you know, I told my mum I need to be here. There and also Amber Anning has gone out very strongly in lane three as well. And Ailey Doyle at the moment has run a blanket finish for second as Anning stormed through on the inside, Nielsen and Doyle as well. But the champion is Zoe Clark of Thames Valley Harriers. We'll hand over to the youngster Amber Anning and for Poland. It's Holub Kovalek, another very experienced competitor running for the defending champions. She ran, of course, on that gold medal winning team before. Rather inexperienced Anning. Can she hold her on? The youngster from Britain did creditably in her heat running here. They've been second in the British Championship. Being tracked by Amaro. Halfway stage of this leg. And uh, Anning is just in danger of being caught here. I think so we'll see whether the gaps narrowed but certainly Poland holding on with Holub Kovalik and Poland it is who are leading and Sviertiasetic who's a formidable relay runner will take over for Poland then it's Great Britain and Ailey Doyle another Scott she'll get plenty of support